Hey everyone, it's Phil. I wanted to do a video for this particular comic haul that's way overdue. Um, this was... My local comic book shop did a uh, half off back issues sale. So I got a whole bunch of really decent stuff, some really great stuff, at a really good price. And I never did this before now because, well, first of all, I didn't have a YouTube channel. And second of all... Um, I wanted to do it now because they're about to do the sale again, so whatever I get this time, I want to be able to do the haul when it's a little fresher. Um, so to start off with, I got this particular copy of Amazing Spider-Man number 546. This is the first issue of the brand new day right after they jettisoned his marriage to Mary Jane. Um... It was priced at six bucks, but I got it for three, which is actually less than cover price. And it's kind of funny too, because um, this was at the time when I had stopped buying Marvel because I, I couldn't justify paying four bucks just as a regular cover price for Marvel comics. I would do it for indies, but I wouldn't. I didn't really want to do it for a Marvel unless there was um, like a backup comic in there as well. I did it for a while with Edward Baker's Captain America. Um, since then, I've kind of relaxed that rule. But anyway, that was the first book. The second one is ooh, Amazing Spider-Man number five fifty nine. This has the. This is just. I guess it's kind of run filler for Brand New Day, but it, it has the first appearance of a couple of characters. One called. Paper Doll and the other called Screwball. I don't know if they've done anything with these characters since then. They're not... This isn't like a hot book or anything, but... I saw it in there. It was four bucks, so I got it for two. So, you know, whatever. It was worth picking up. After that... I got... Amazing Spider-Man number 600. I think there's a bunch of variants to this, but this... I believe this is just the regular cover. It's a... I think it's a John Romita Jr. cover, but I could be wrong. It was eight bucks, got it for four. It's in really, I mean, it's in pretty much perfect condition. They list it as a nine two, but it wouldn't surprise me if it's actually higher than that. After that, I'm doing a bunch of Amazing Spider-Man books to start with, if you can't tell. Picked up Amazing Spider-Man number 670, no, sorry, 611. Um, they had this listed as a 7.0 because there's, uh, a slight, well, not really a crease, just a, kind of an indentation in the cover. It's pretty much invisible unless you're looking at it really closely, which obviously if somebody, if I was getting it graded, they would. I suspect if I got it pressed, that would come out and it would pretty much be a 9.0 or higher. I don't really know for sure because I'm not a professional grader. But anyway, this is this Spider-Man book had Deadpool in it. And it was, I think it was hot for a while. I don't know if it still is or not, but I know it goes for a certain amount. This particular copy went for 7 bucks, so I got it for three fifty. After that, I picked up Amazing Spider-Man 671. And I normally don't really care for... Humberto Ramos's art style, like he did a run on Runaways when uh, I think Terry Moore was writing it and I thought it was just <laughs> unbelievably ugly, honestly. But this particular cover is absolutely amazing. Oh, God. I didn't mean to make a really bad pun there. Anyway, I really love this cover. And yeah, what was it? Four twenty-five. So I got it for whatever half of that is, two thirteen. The last Spider-Man book that I picked up was six ninety-eight. It was four bucks, so I got it for two. Um, this is the one where I guess Doctor Octopus takes over Peter Parker's body in this issue. I haven't read it, so I honestly couldn't tell you. But it seemed like, I don't know, a minor key setting up this whole Superior Spider-Man run. So I decided to pick that up, too. 
Moving on to the X-Men. This is all relatively older stuff. Picked up Uncanny number 149. Um, I, I guess I'll just go through these because I haven't read a whole bunch of them, so I don't really know what happens in them. 149, 151... 152 and 154 and again these are all in really nice shape and I think the most expensive one was 149 which they had listed at 16 so I got it for 8 everything else I got for around yeah, 4 to four dollars to 450 moving on to some Incredible Hulk these this particular issue is pretty cool. I'm glad that I got this one. Um, the Incredible Hulk number 330. This is the first issue that Todd McFarlane did the interior artwork on. He didn't do the cover or anything, but it's kind of uh, an important issue just because it was the first one he did. And it's either the first or second issue that Peter David wrote. So I wouldn't mind getting Peter David's entire run on the Hulk. I have a few scattered issues throughout it, but not really all that many. I also picked up The Incredible Hulk number 367 and if I'm not mistaken I think this is the first issue that Dale Keown did the artwork for. That's a, again, he didn't do the cover, that's a I think it's a Walt Simonson cover. The cover is really good but um, I'm pretty sure Dale Keown did the interior artwork for that. Yeah, I got that one for two fifty. This one was twelve, so I got it for six. And then I picked up a three seventy seven first print. There was no third print, unfortunately. That's the one that's I guess it's super rare because it's really expensive. But this is of course a Dale Keown issue, and uh, it's in pretty much perfect condition. They have it listed as a nine two. Because I don't think, my shop doesn't really list stuff at higher than a 9.2, even if it is in better shape. So I, I guess they're just hedging their bets, really. They don't want people to complain if something comes back less than what they would expect. But I got that one for $4.00. Moving on to something much older. I got the Silver Age Aquaman, this is issue 40. Really, I just got this because I've been kind of getting into Nick Cardi lately. This is the only Aquaman issue that I have because I, I just really discovered him recently. Um, this was in really good shape. They have it listed as a 6.0. It looks really nice. Not a lot of not a lot of wear on the book. And I just love the cover. I love the colors especially. I love the contrast between the pink and the blue. So they were charging fifteen for that, so I got it for seven fifty. I also picked up the new Teen Titans number sixteen. Uh, that, that's the one with the first appearance of Captain Carrot and the Zoo Crew. So eh, I don't know. It's a minor key. They were charging five bucks for it, so I got it for two fifty. You gotta love these covers. Starfire's like, get out of the way! That monster murdered the man I loved. The zombie Dick Grayson. Why haven't they done that yet? Maybe they did. Maybe they did it in Blackest Night. I don't know. I also got Sandman number eight. I always loved Sandman. Although I didn't get into it until, mm, I guess around issue 40. So they had that one at 30 bucks. I got it for 15. It's in really nice shape. It does have one crease on the cover here. They have it listed as an 8.0. But it looks really sharp otherwise. And this is, of course, the first appearance of Death. It's a beautiful looking book. Love that Dale Keown cover. <laughs> What did I just say? Dale Keown? I mean, Dave McKean? God, I can't even remember his name. The last one I picked up 
This is Nick Fury, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. number one. Those Starenko covers from that era were crazy and I love them. Just absolutely gorgeous. They have this one listed at 35. So I got that for 1750. They say it's a 4.5. There is a lot of yellowing along the edges. Um, but the spine is in really good shape. There's, uh, you know, a few, a little wear along the edge of the page, but it looks really good. And the cover is absolutely beautiful. I could not pass that up for 1750. So anyway, I just wanted to share that. I'm really looking forward to the sale that they're having a week from now. I've already been going through their back issue bins and taking pictures of comics that I'm planning to pick up. I hope they're still there. I'm going to get there right when the store opens so that I can beat the rush. Because last time there were a lot of people in there digging through those bins. So anyway, that's all I've got for now. So I'm going to call this a night and... See you guys next time.